Can you tell me why you're here today? I'm here today because I don't believe that health care should be in the government's control. Why do you believe that? Um, because if you look at Medicare, you look at Medi Medicaid, you look at Social Security, you look at all the government-run programs that are now going bankrupt. There's no reason. Why can't, why can't we see that history is going to repeat itself? So what would you say to um, the people that are here today supporting Obama's plan? I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are out here and they do have a good heart or whatever, but... Totally. I think that, I think, as someone who comes from a family who is completely Democrat and liberal and believes that Obama is the savior, um, it, it's, it's something that I see from both sides. And I think that there is a need for health care reform. Without a doubt, there is a need for health care reform. I just don't think that the government being involved in it is what's going to fix it. I think that getting the government more involved is actually what's going to ruin it. We need to go back to the, the, the way that this country was built, which was on uh, complete comp uh, competition, free market, open it up, let all the states do it, let these insurance companies go throughout every state, and let there be competition for health care. And you'll watch as insurance rates go down. And people don't take advantage of it and abuse it because it's not free, but it's cheaper. So if Obama has his way, um, in your opinion, what do you think would be the negative fallouts from, from his plans? Um, politically, I think he might just not win um, the next election, the next presidential election. What about for our culture and society? <laughs> I think that if, I don't think that because of the fact that this isn't going to come into effect until 2013, I don't think anything is going to happen right away. I think that what's going to happen is as we progress through, we're going to watch and people are, these people that are standing in line that are waiting to go see Obama are going to come back in 15 years and say, it's broken, fix it. Government, you need to fix it. It's your job. You need to make it work, and probably at that point there will be a Republican president, and they will blame it all on the Republican president because nobody wants to take responsibility for their own actions. So what would you say to people, the people here that think that insurance companies are evil and corrupt? I don't think they're any more evil and corrupt than the government is. Plain and simple. I, you look at some of the things that, that Obama has said, and... Technically, the way he says it, the way he words it, it is very true, but the underlying meaning is so liar, full, li full of lies, it's not even funny. So would you say in his rhetoric he is being deceitful? I wouldn't say he's being deceitful. I think he honestly, truly believes that this will help. Just like I think all of these people honestly, truly believe that this will help. I just don't think they're playing devil. I don't think anybody's played devil, devil's advocate. I don't understand why we have to push this bill through before everything has gone into effect. In my opinion, you should be able to push a bill through and then it should come into effect immediately because you've done all the back work and the leg work to get up to that point. We shouldn't have to wait that long before this comes into effect. If it's such a great plan and everything is all ready to go and it's so important that we get it done now, why is it going to take that long to start? Do you think that in in the big picture, it would make our society have better or worse health care? Worse, without a doubt. How come? Because, um, one, I think with the bill that's going on, I don't think that Obama has thought about the fact that lowering premiums and raising the um, caps on uh, long-term, what is it, yearly care or lifetime care, whatever it is, and then lowering the prices on out-of-pocket fees and co-pays and things like that is going to keep insurance in business. It's just not possible. Because it's not even a matter of keeping it so they make no money. It's a matter of being able to pay for what it is. And so what I'm thinking is, my, my fear is that what's going to happen is here we are, we're going to have this. And then in 10 years, when insurance companies are no longer around, we will have a single payer, and we will have horrible care because it will be rationed, because there aren't enough doctors. They're not getting paid enough from the government health care parts that we already have, i.e. Medicare and Medicaid. They're not going to want to go through school. They're not going to want to spend the $120,000 to go through school just to be paid basically $10 an hour. So. Anything else?